Hello everyone, this is Marianne from Revealing Light, uh, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are we all today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching? Huge shout out to you. This is your reading, Virgo, for your sun sign rising, or if your moon is in Virgo, by all means, drop in and uh, pay me a visit. It's a general reading, so it won't, re, uh, won't resonate with everyone, but if it is resonating for you, please do claim it. Uh, if not, move on. Okay, so uh do need to warn you, every month I do tarot scopes, that I am not on WhatsApp, I'm not giving, uh, never was on WhatsApp, never will be, uh, and I'm not giving personal readings. So if anyone approaches you in the comments section, uh, it is a scam, so block and report. Um, in, on YouTube, there's a dark grey circle that is over my channel name. That's YouTube's tick of authenticity. If you see that, it's me. If you don't see it, it's not me. And I'm not on WhatsApp. Okay. All right, let's get started, Virgo. Uh, let's see what's coming up for you. Um, okay, so I'm using the Holograph Tarot and uh, also the shamanic healing oracle cards let's do an oracle card for you uh, and let's see if i can see anything clairvoyantly there is a victory wreath here for you virgo it's poised above your head um but i'm seeing uh money uh, so you could have some money coming into you but it's not quite a slam dunk thing yet because i'm seeing the pentacle hovering up above the victory um the victory uh, symbol or victory victor's wreath i feel that that i feel that for you to have the abundance that you require there's a victory over the self so i've been recently reminded that sometimes virgo can carry an inferiority complex when that is um not it not all virgos of course but would depend uh, on your natal chart but it is one aspect of negative aspects of virgo that they can think or feel that they're uh, inferior to other people because they they're looking at the detail all the time they're like very much in the middle world uh, and that allows them to elevate when they see the detail very clearly but sometimes they don't see that sometimes the detail is a bit obscured and that's their path in life to see really what matters what's what's jumping out at them so there's something around where you put your focus uh in relation to money for december uh let's just coincidentally pull the shamanic healing card and see what's uh What's coming up for you, Virgo? What do you need to show me in relation to Virgo? Yeah, but it's balancing out those opposing forces. Uh, it's letting go, you know. It's 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 like the <laughs> it's something around your attitude to money. Okay, all right. Show me, please, Virgo. Okay, so we have letting go. Oh, I'm not. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing at the um, the amazing synchronicity of the cards. Sometimes, okay. There's something that you need to let go of. Uh, I saw that line uh, drawn very the rope, like the tug of war, very tight. And if you let go, you're not going to fall. <laughs> you're actually going to stand tall. All right, ascension. That's exactly what you're going to do. This is a very strong message for for Virgos. Not every Virgo, but for some Virgos, if you let go, you will ascend. You will ascend, and it is around your attitude to money and your, which makes you a little bit more competitive than what you need to be. In fact, the way to compete for you is to let go, let go, and soar skyward. And get out of the weeds and also confront changes. And this, again, another aspect of your reading. I'm getting quite warm here uh, in this chair. Um, <laughs> another aspect of this reading is what makes you insecure uh, could be changes. You know, you're an earth sign. You like stability. One more, please. Uh, omens. You're seeing perhaps omens of change. And rather than let go of what what you think keeps you stable, you've, you're giving in to fear. Base of the pack is psychic development. That's around your intuition. Stop listening to the 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 thoughts of lack of, and start 
activating your third eye to uh, understand the future a little bit better. And we've got growth. Once you do that, we've got growth. Uh, and there is somebody that you have to forgive. It is could be somebody within your in your home. Once you let go, once you forgive, once you get over yourself, you've got unlimited possibilities. That is the way that you get more Virgo. All right, let's um, pull from the holographic tarot and just get a little bit more detail. I have to say the shamanic healing cards were were brilliant for you show me can we drill down on what's happening with virgo please what's happening with virgo in december all right so we have here the queen of pentacles stability uh there's a lot around your home coming up in december around money and around your home we've got the hierophant okay trusting literally trusting spirit trusting god if if, if that's how you refer to spirit trusting the your higher self uh to provide the stability and we've got hope and the star card at the foundation of the reading i think you know hope is a good one for you virgo because hope will overcome any feelings of inferiority uh, or feeling that you're not good enough or that you need to be better or that you need to have more it's giving to that hope let go and let yourself soar you could have taken on a new project in the past. The Ace of Wands is in the past. Your passion could be reunited. In the sky, we have the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy here. This is about a revelation. I think revelation, a revelation and a revolution. You're going to, uh, something could be revealed to you. Could surround self-care as well. If you're continually living down in the weeds, it's not, uh, it, you know, you need to take care of yourself. Just let your mind clear any issues that you have around money. Let it go. Let it go uh, and trust. So we have here the Queen of Wands in the future. That's passions and projects here. Women are accented here. Stability. Three queens. Stability in the home, stability of your emotions and stability of your passions and projects. And you're being overrided in the here and now by worry and anxiety. You're being cruel to yourself because that's what that card denotes. Um, and we've got judgment and inevitability. Uh, change, there's an, an inevitability about change. This is also the letting go card, letting go of worry, letting go of anxiety. Very clear messages for you in December. If things are coming very quickly, uh, don't fear them. If change is upon you very quickly, don't fear them. The uh, hope is that with all this newness, you you... Uh, you get a slice of something too. You get what's coming to you. You get what you deserve. King of Wands. Okay, there's a fire energy here. This is asking you to take that baton and step forward with courage and authority. That's kingly energy. Create your own projects. Create your own, what is it, uniqueness, Virgo and uh, you will find with this Ace of Cups the new emotional starts. It's what the Queen has. Those new emotional starts are yours for the taking. Stop fearing the tower. You could have had the tower in the recent past, but we have insight coming from the tower uh, moment. The tower, when it makes uh, the Saturn uh, Uranus energy, it will, uh, the lightning destroys the, the, the tower, but something else, during the process of the destruction, there's many insights, but something else awaits you, and it's you reconnecting with your own passions. Seven of Pentacles, time for a new plan. The past and the higher self working with others, working in teams, and we have your energy here. There's a wish that you're going that's going to be granted to you. I think you've wished for this new start, and that's what's on offer for you. Thanks for tuning in, Virgo. Have a great December, and bye for now.